to my channel and welcome to another Motivation Monday that is actually being uploaded on Tuesday because it was just the Easter long weekend and I was just doing lots of Easter kind of stuff, taking a bit of a break and it was amazing. I hope you have had a fabulous Easter as well. Feel free to jump down in the comments and tell me what you got up to. I did many cool little things but I'm pretty sure I'll talk about those in my next video. Um, because I really enjoyed my Easter weekend. It was a very nice way to end March and start April. So uh, also kind of welcome to my new filming space. Uh, it's not done yet, work in progress. And this room is kind of like my project to get my life together. So once this room is done, I think I'll feel like I'm really together and everything's like on the right track. But until then, I'm still working on it. It's just like project get Rachel's life together. And I would like to vlog it kind of similar to like my last video. Um, I have my desk in front of me. It's beautiful and because it's clear. It makes the room feel really big even though there's lots of furniture in here. And I just, I love it. I feel like I'm starting to get a little bit set up and more on track. So um, yeah, that's kind of like a little random update for the, the beginning of the week. So today I wanted to talk to you about the ultimate mindset to maintaining motivation. So it's pretty simple, like it's very, very, very simple. Um, and I kind of find that the more I learn and the different perspectives I gain, the better I am at uh, taking on challenges in my life would be the best way to explain it. So I'm all about learning different perspectives and trying to view things in different ways. So that's why this video and this whole concept is very, very simple. And basically it is to look at multiple different days across an entire year the same way you look at New Year's Day. So as you know, like around New Year's, there's so much hype over like, yes, new year, new me, I'm gonna do all the things that I wanna do. It's like a fresh start. But a couple months after New Year's kind of finishes, kind of where we're at now, this is the start of the fourth month, that kind of like spark and that hype kind of fades away and you're not as motivated and you kind of left just a little bit like lost, I suppose would be the best word to explain it. So the way that I maintain motivation throughout an entire year is by choosing to actively look at different days within the year the same way that I think about the new year. Like it helps me maintain that spark. It helps me be excited to get on with things and try new things and just basically be the best version of myself. So I have five different kinds of days or dates throughout a year that you could approach the same way that you approach New Year's and create, treat it as a fresh start, treat it as a way that you can find motivation to push you to do the things that you wanna do. So the first one is the first of every month. And I really kind of like the first of every month. Breaking down an entire year into like 12 months, I think is a really great way to achieve your goals, to, to make things more attainable. And I like it, you know, we're the third day into April right now. So what is stopping you from getting some motivation going, you know what, April is gonna be the best month yet. I'm gonna make this the best month. I'm gonna do the things that I wanna do. And it's actually so simple because it's only 30 days that you could start a new challenge. I think in February, I went the entire month without Uber Eats and ordering in. There's a lot more months of this year that you can set yourself little goals and give yourself that little motivation boost to be able to work on them. So leave a comment down below and tell me something that you want to do in April. Like don't just think, oh, the whole year is completely ruined now. Take the beginning of every single month as a fresh start and really harness that and set yourself challenges and goals and you'll see that you'll maintain your motivation throughout the year. Number two is the 1st of July and you're probably like, this is the weirdest date. I'm not really sure about how it works in other countries or in other parts of the world, but here in Australia, the financial year starts July 1st, ends uh, June 30th. So it's kind of like another year in the half part of the actual like calendar year. And I think this one's a great one to kind of get a little bit more motivated and a bit of a fresh start for two reasons. One, it's the second half of the year, so you could look at it like, this is the second half of the year, I'm going to make this this my year, I'm gonna turn 2018 around and I'm going to do the things that I wanna do. So it's kind of like a second start for the year. 
The other way to look at it is that this is um, like a kind of almost a whole new year. It's the new financial year, which means all of your tax and your income and all of your finances and everything like that starts fresh in July. So for me, I really enjoy July because it gives me a chance to go, all right, I need to like kind of reorganize my finances, work out how I'm going to be saving and budgeting. And it gives me a fresh start at trying to get my money and my finances together. So I think the, the mid-year, which it's very odd, is another great way to look at it like this is a fresh start. I can be motivated to keep doing something better. The third one is Mondays. I love Mondays. I love Mondays because it's a day where I've just had a fabulous weekend and I need to go back to work. Everybody has to go back to work. So why not make the most of it and use it as a motivator and a tool to help you create the best week. I want to make sure that every week is better than the last. I know that this could be quite intense for a lot of people because you've got 52 fresh starts in a year by taking every Monday as a fresh start. It's a little intense. But if you want to really ride that motivation wave through all of 2018, Wake up every Monday morning going, okay, how can I change my life this week? What can I do this week to better myself? Write a to-do list, plan out your week and get more organized. I love Mondays and that's why I have this Motivation Monday series because I know exactly how my Mondays are going to go. I know how I'm going to plan them out, except for today because today is Tuesday, long weekend, these things happen. Um, but I know how my Mondays are going to go and I get really excited. It's it's about getting a routine for me and I love it. So that's another way that I maintain my motivation is looking at Mondays like a fresh start every single week. The fourth one is your birthday. This might be another way to go, well, now instead of being like a new calendar year or a new financial year, it's a whole new year of an age for you. So maybe when it comes to your birthday, maybe you're like, you know what? Whatever the year was before, like for me, 27, maybe 27 is not going to be a great year. So when it reaches my birthday, maybe I'm going to make 28 the best year yet. So it's just another opportunity to look at it as a fresh start, a new, new, new year's day, because it is a new year for you. You are one year older and you're starting that next year. And we only get to be 28 once. We only get to be 27 once. We only get to be 15 once. So why not use that as motivation to work on the things that you want to do and keep up that spark. You're starting a new year at a new age, so make the most of it. And the fifth one is why not just make any day of the year a fresh start? And this one I do struggle with. I find it quite difficult to just pick a random day of the week that doesn't really have a significant number or a meaning to it as a fresh start. This is hard, but if you're really good at it, you could just say, you know what, today, is just a Tuesday. There's nothing about fresh, there's nothing fresh starting about a Tuesday, but I'm going to change that. I'm going to change the way that I look at this Tuesday and I'm going to make it a Tuesday fresh start and that's gonna help increase your motivation. So um, those are the kind of five different dates. I'm sure there's many other dates that you could throw out there that might have some importance to you to help you maintain that motivation. I think for me personally, my Mondays and my firsts of each month are definitely how I maintain my motivation throughout the year and I keep up that excitement and that spark and that whole like New Year's feeling because there's no greater feeling I don't think than that beginning of the year I'm going to change my life feeling. I feel like everyone's just really happy and really ready to take on the year and then it fizzles away. So for me I treat every Monday like it's a fresh start and I treat every beginning of a month like an even bigger fresh start. So I really hope this has kind of helped you change the way that you look at dates and throughout the year to kind of help keep up your motivation, keep that spark, that excitement because Let's make April the best month yet and use this as a motivator to keep going in 2018 to do everything that we want to do. So I hope you guys have enjoyed this little Motivation Monday video. Hope it sparked some motivation and inspiration inside of you to get on with the things that you would like to do. So if you did enjoy it, please give it a thumbs up and make sure you subscribe. Up the top here, you can check out my last video. Down the bottom, I will leave a link to another one of my Motivation Monday videos and I will see you in my next video. Bye.